Good morning, 77, and welcome to a demonstration on how to accurately draw a front view and a side view of your final design accurately. So what you're going to need is a piece of paper, preferably plain, a ruler, a pencil, and a rubber in case you make any mistakes. So I've got my, ru my ruler and I've got millimetres. Okay, so I'm going to be doing my measure measures in millimetres. You're welcome to do different measurements or follow along with the same ones as me. So first things first is on the left hand side of your paper, we're going to start drawing the outline of the front view. So the head of the block bot will be a square, which means that I'm going to do 45 millimetres along the top. and 45 millimetres along the bottom. This way, all four measurements will be the same size. Like so. And there's my square. Then, I'm going to leave a little gap and I'm going to draw another line below my square of the same length. Then, to do the body, I'm going to do a rectangle. So, I'll probably do about 60 millimetres, just as a rough, 65, just as a rough measurement. But again, you can change yours. This is just for the purpose of demonstration. And I'm going to join them up at the bottom. So, you should have a rough outline of a square and a rectangle. The block bot will need hands and feet, so I'm going to do something my two little rectangles I'm going to sketch those out, we'll neaten them up later with a ruler but there I've got my hands and feet for my block bot. Now now we need to do the side view and we want to make sure that this is the same size as the front view. So to do this you want to get your ruler and you want to line it up with that first top line that you've drawn for your head. Then on the right hand side of your paper you're going to draw another square of the same size. So three there's my top line, like so. And then for the rest of them, I'm just going to draw a nice, really light line that goes all the way across the page. What this does is it just shows that that is where I'll need to draw all my lines to make sure that the square and the body will be the right height. So I'll try and get in better light so you can see, which you can't. So I'll go over these lines now so you can see what I'm talking about. So I've got my light lines. I'm going to make them darker only so you can see them, but you should keep them light until you're happy with them. Okay, so I've got rough, rough four lines which shows me where my head will be and where my body will be. Okay, so now we need to draw our vertical lines, our lines that are going to go down. So we line them up along one point and we do a straight line going down like so. Then I measure my 45 millimetres across, like so, and then I line my ruler up, and join it up, like that. So as you can see, we've now got our front view, and our side view, which is the same size, and the same height as our front view. Once you're happy with your lines, 
like I said, go over them with a ruler and pencil and rub out those faint lines that you drew to line it up. Now, last thing for our outline is that we need to draw our hand and hands on feet from the side view. Now on the side, you're only going to see one of them. So I'm going to draw one hand and one foot to represent what we'll see on the other side. Or like so. So you should start off with a rough outline that looks like this. And once you're happy with your rough lines, again, go over them with a pencil and ruler. Make them a bit harder and easier to see. So darker and easier to see before moving on to the next step. All the steps on how to complete a final design are in the PowerPoint. This was just a little tutorial to show you how you make your front and your side view accurate and the same size. Thank you.